So you just got accepted to your first Comic-Con and you're gonna be part of Artist Alley. Now you're wondering, what do I sell? I'm gonna give you six ideas that might actually help you with this. Now, the very first thing I'm gonna list is kind of a no-brainer and it doesn't even really count. But as an artist, the first thing you're probably gonna wanna sell is gonna be some of your artwork on prints. Large posters like this do very, very well at Comic-Con. But what I think a lot of artists overlook is some people don't actually have the wall space to put up something this big. So what I actually recommend is printing something a little bit smaller that can still be framed or put on your desk. That way, if the person does wanna support you but don't have the wall space, Space, something like this can definitely be an alternative. Shrinking your images down to a four by six or a five by seven might be a good way to go. Posters and prints, that's the easy thing. What else can I do with my art to actually sell it at Comic-Con? Well, you can also do stickers. Depending on how your artwork is formed, you can actually just print out traditional square stickers or you can do stickers like this, which are called like die cut stickers, where they actually would cut around the image. Now for me, I actually got these printed here at a local printing press. They just print these right on a sticker sheet. Then I have to come back by hand and cut each one of these out. Very, very tedious, but it's just something that has to be done. Now you can't actually get stickers printed and also die cut at some places, but understand it's gonna probably cost you a little bit more money. But yeah, at my table, I sell a lot of stickers. People like something that's gonna be functional and cool, and this is a really good way to allow them to support your art. Okay, so now we got that, what else can you do with your artwork so we can actually sell it at our table? I'm gonna also say convert your artwork into magnets. That's right, magnets. These were also a really popular seller at my table. And these came from pages that I got from comics on free comic book day. These glass beads you can get on Amazon, but if you wanna try this out, just go to Dollar Tree, they actually sell a whole bag on for a dollar. And the tutorial on how I made that is on my channel and I'll link it below and probably put it somewhere around here. But in a nutshell, all you have to do is just find the image you want, lay down some glue, put this glass bead on top of it, and then you're gonna wanna cut it out and attach a magnet to the back. Pretty simple, easy to do. So you can do this with your own work, you can do this with magazines, you can do this with newspaper articles, pretty much anything you can fit behind this glass bead, you can turn it into a magnet. And believe me guys, these do very, very well. And if you don't wanna do the glass beads, you can always keep it very traditional. You can just do the square printout refrigerator magnets. A lot of office supplies actually sell magnet sheets that you can print on right from your printer. And if you get the laser version, you could probably take it to some of those printing presses in your town and they can actually print your artwork right on top of those sheets. And from there, just cut it out and you have your own personalized magnets. If the actual magnets themselves, you can get them from any craft store or Amazon. Everything will be linked down below just so you guys can find it easily. But definitely gonna wanna put a strong magnet behind this because the glass is pretty heavy. Now we're gonna get into some of the more functional things that you can do to turn your artwork into selling items at your Comic-Con table. Now these next ideas I actually brought to my table that I saw no one else doing in Artist Alley and I think it'll give you an advantage if you try it as well. And that would be taking your artwork and putting it on books like this. This right here, just a regular composition notebook that I got from the Dollar Tree. Again, just take old comic book covers, magazine articles, glued it to this composition notebook. And you can do the same thing with your artwork. And to make it look a bit more polished, I actually spray painted the back of it black. But this is just a regular notebook. And I actually sold quite a few of these. Very simple to make, takes no time at all. Somewhere on the screen, but definitely down below will be the link to how I actually created this. One thing I learned too about doing a few of these Comic Cons, variety is a good thing. So I got this pack of four. These are some notebooks that I got from the Dollar Tree. You can also put your artwork on these. In the very same way, you can glue them down with Mod Podge or you can print them out on sticker paper and just attach them to the front. And that same technique can be applied to make these. A coaster. Many people don't think about putting their artwork on coasters. So again, all I did was take a comic book printout, use some spray adhesive and attached it to this coaster. This is just a regular tile coaster that you can get from Home Depot or Lowe's. Since this is the coaster, you're gonna have to put something on there to make it waterproof. So use some kind of spray sealer or maybe some kind of lacquer and go over the front a few times just to make sure that this is gonna be waterproof. Cause if anybody sets a drink down, you don't want the page to be warped. And then to make sure you're protecting the countertops, you wanna get some kind of cork board. I know they also sell some of the uh, felt squares that you can put on each one of the corner. These also come pre-cut in a pack and you can get them from Michael's a Hobby Lobby. And the very last thing I'm gonna mention, which is kind of tricky, but if you can figure out how to do it, I think you can also sell quite a bit of these too, is putting your art on cell phone cases. Now there's a lot of print on demand places that'll actually print this for you. If you do go this route, maybe print out about three to four just to see how well they do. And if you sell out, definitely go back and order some more. But there's many DIY ways you can actually do your own cell phone cases. You can physically paint your artwork directly on the cell phone case. You can use the sticker method, as I mentioned before, print it out on a sticker and then attach it to the cell phone case. Just be sure to go over with some kind of sealant just to make sure you're protecting your artwork. The clear phone case is probably the easiest one because you can just cut out your artwork and then just display it right inside the case. Well, I do hope this was helpful, giving you guys some other ideas of what you can turn your artwork into and sell at Artist Alley. If you guys have done Artist Alley in the past and found some different ways to sell your artwork, feel free to comment that down below. I'd love to see what other ideas you guys come up with. I have a few more videos I want to make related to Comic-Con, so if you guys are interested in that, please be sure to like this video and don't forget to follow me here. I'm gonna go ahead and get started on filming that video and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.